The record will show the jury has left the courtroom. Please be seated. Court is still in pro process. Mr. Martinez, you may examine the witness. And Judge, can I inquire though as to how much of a clip this is? Is this the entire interview or are we just going to hear part of it? Nine seconds. I, I would ask for I would ask for more information so that Ms. Gavilat can be in contact. All right, Mr. Martinez. She, she want he wants more information. Do I need to address the issue of more information? Yes, please. More with this witness. With regard to this uh, particular case, ma'am, the truthfulness of the defendant is important to you, right? Correct. And, in fact, you've spent 44 hours with her, correct? Correct. And in part, whether it's a small or a large part, in part, your opinion is based on what the defendant told you, correct? Correct. And then you went out and you corroborated what the defendant told you in an effort to see whether or not she was being truthful, correct? Yeah, and some prior to, right. to meeting with her as and, well. And, and in fact, yesterday when we talked about it, you told us yesterday that yes, you believe the defendant was untruthful, but it was but her untruthfulness was after the murder. Do you remember telling me that yesterday? Her, her pattern of untruthfulness. Right, yes. was after the murder, correct? Yes. And that I asked you specifically about before the murder, and you said you didn't see any uh, indications that she was untruthful, correct? With her prior boyfriends. With anything. Remember, you told us that we talked about whether I, that I didn't have I didn't have any evidence. I didn't see anything that she was untruthful. Correct. Correct. But you are aware that there was an interview between her and uh, between her father and the detective uh, Steve Flores. Correct. I I didn't have that information. So you didn't have that information. But if there is information out there from her father that indicated that the defendant was. Yes, may we approach? You may. Mark, this is an exhibit. Exhibit 604. Never, she's never been honest with us since then. And she was uh, probably 14 then. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Yeah. All right, let's never, play it again. She's never been honest with us since then. And she was uh, probably 14 then. Did you hear him say, she hasn't been honest with us since then, and she was 14? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. With regard to this particular case, this is not something that you knew when you testified yesterday, correct? No, it is not something I knew. Pardon? No, it is not something I knew. Isn't this something that you would have wanted to consider in deciding whether or not the defendant was being, uh, whether or not you were going to believe the defendant uh, in this particular case? Objection, Judge. It would be inappropriate to ask the witness this without context to the entire interview. Uh -oh. This is outside the presence of the jury. You may answer the question. Well, I would not take a sound bite of anything and and make a decision on it. So I'd want to hear the whole I'd want to hear the whole tape and I'd also want to put in perspective the things I'd heard about Mr. Arias and I'd want to put into perspective what I know about teenagers. But my question to you is this the fact that this person her father is saying that she hasn't been honest since the age of 14. Objection is characterized as what you said. Distinct. Well, let's hear it again, okay? And then I'll ask you a question. Well, never, she's never been honest with us since then. And she was uh, probably 14 then. Did you hear what he said? Yes, I did. He said she's never been honest with us since then, right? Right. And he also said she was 14, correct? Correct. Isn't that a goal? Contrary, doesn't that fly in the face of what you just testified to yesterday that she was always honest before the killing? Asked and answered. It doesn't fly in the face until I've assessed it. I need to find out. I, I, the information I had, I didn't have information that she had lied. When you get information from a parent that a child lies to them in, during teenage years, that does not necessarily characterize someone as a liar or not. And so I would want to take that into account with the information I had that was regarding Mr. Arias as well and his rationale for, for perhaps for the reason that she did lie to him. What you're saying is that you would consider it and then you would explain this statement. I would consider it and then I would decide what I was going to do with it once it was considered. 
Right. And it would be part of the file then, right? As something you would consider then, right? Yes, it would. I don't have anything else. So, Matt, did you have any questions on this issue? Not until she is able to have a better context of what this is actually about. I'd like to be able to either see the, see the entire interview. All right, Council Cook. 